we have um, this exercise here this is an analysis exercise from the University of Bristol exams and um, as you see we have a function f a real function that's differentiable and the derivative is bounded actually it's less than 1 we define i1 this number and i2 this number I want to show that the distance between i1 and i2 is less or equal than 1 over 8 so let's start the proof the first thing to do is calculate this distance here from my data from my numbers i1 and i2 so I substitute i1 and i2 so I subtract from that that here and the result I find is f of 0 plus f of 1 over 2 minus f of 1 over 4 minus f of 3 over 4 divided by 4 now I'm writing um, temporarily this expression in the form that you see here you will understand later why I'm doing this you can easily see that uh, if I'm doing the operations here I will get uh, the expression I had before so this is I1 minus I2 now I see that here there are two intervals from 0 to 1 over 4 and from 1 over 2 to 3 over 4 in uh, most of the problems of this nature or of this type um, that, that I have f of something and this something is a definite number I'm trying to find some proper intervals to apply mean value theorem so the first interval to apply mean value theorem here is from 0 to 1 over 4 and I'm taking xi1 between 0 and 1 over 4 such that the derivative at xi1 equals to f of b minus f of a over b minus a so from that I'm getting 1 over 4 derivative of f at psi 1 equals to f of 1 over 4 minus f of 0 now I somehow try to create that expression here so uh, what I have to do is to divide both members of this equation by 2 and then I get 1 over 2 derivative of f at psi 1 equals to f of 1 over 4 minus f of 0 divided by 2 now um, exactly in the same way here there is xi 2 between 1 over 2 and 3 over 4 such that everything is the same as you understand and the last thing here the last part is let's say this is the relation 1 and this is the relation 2 now if you remember my difference i1 minus i2 my difference is this expression here so i1 minus i2 if I get the absolute value of that I will get 1 over 2 absolute value of f of 0 minus f of 1 over 4 plus f of 1 over 4 over 2 minus f of 3 over 4 divided by 2 so we are here but remember that 
we have the triangle inequality that says the absolute value of a plus b is not greater than absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. This is a and this is b. So, all this expression is less than 1 over 2 absolute value of the first plus absolute value of the second part. Now, take a look here at relation 1 and relation 2. If you take the absolute value here and the absolute value here from 1 you will get that 1 over 8 absolute value of f derivative at xi1 is less than and from 2 you will get 1 over 8 absolute value of the derivative of f at xi2 less than that. Sorry, it's not less, of course, it's equal to. Okay, now, uh, so we can substitute that expression with that and that expression with that. So we have equals to 1 over 2, 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 OK, now, from the hypothesis, we know that the derivative of f at each point, the absolute value of the derivative is less than 1. So, the absolute value of f derivative at xi1 is less than 1, and also the absolute value of the derivative of f at xi2 is less than 1 also. Now, from that, we have that's less than 1 over 2, 1 over 8 times 1, since 1 is greater than that, plus 1 over 8 times 1, since 1 is greater than that. But this is 1 over 2 times 2 over 8, so 1 over 4, and that's 1 over 8. What I have proved here is that the distance between i1 and i2 is less or equal than 1 over 8. That was the statement of the question. Now, everything's okay, uh, but I have here something. There is, in, in analysis, you always see something complicated here, and you don't realize that under that complicated expression and statement um, lies some very, very simple truth. And here, there is a really simple truth that you can understand from that. So, uh, the truth is really obvious if you um, interpret the exercise, the question, geometrically in the proper way. So, what I'm waiting from you is to try to interpret the geometry of this exercise, this question, and send it to me here. Um, the first one that will send the geometric interpretation of that exercise will have one free hour online with Vasilis Bakas. So, also you can uh, go to the blog on my site, on this site here, and um, do your comments there.
Okay, thank you very much. See you on the next exercise.